The secret to personal change is found in the truth. Um, it's figuring out who you actually are. Yep. Um, and, and I think the, the best way to phrase that or to frame that would be to say that that's the first step. Yep. It's the secret because you can't do any part of changing until you figure out who you are. We talk about self-awareness a lot. Um, and I think for some people, it's, it becomes this myth to where it's like, yeah, I can be like self-aware, but like, how does that actually like come to be? Like, because um, you're initially not starting out self-aware, mm -hmm. and it's like you have to magically you're not aware become your self-aware. Exactly, it's a little meta. <laughs> yeah. But how how where's that transition period? I feel like there's gonna be a little bit of like strain people are gonna have to go to to get into a mental state of self-awareness. That's a really good question. I, so I think that self-awareness is not a one person project. Like self-awareness is not a solo like thing. Uh, it takes other people that you know, love, trust, uh, that you value their feedback in order for you to gain self-awareness about yourself. Because self-awareness is not just you know, am I aware of who I am and my strengths and my weaknesses and how other people perceive me? It's actually gaining that information from other people on, hey, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? Who am I? Like, um, how do I make you feel in these cir circumstances versus this circumstance? Uh, also, um, all the different personality profiling assessments that are out there, but making it to where it's not an internal thing that you're getting external feedback, which will either validate what you thought you knew about yourself, and quite frankly, sometimes it completely contradicts. Um, but in those contradictions, looking for patterns and looking for uh, consistency of, you know, hey, I talked to five people and three out of the five people said I'm not an empathetic person. I thought I was pretty empathetic probably not empathetic, you know, yeah. like, um, so I think going at, you know, traveling down this road of heightened self-awareness is just something that you can't do alone. Yeah. Um, but it's important that the people that you're seeking out for help with it are ones that are going to tell you not just what you want to hear, but that they're going to tell you what you need to hear, which is the truth. Um, so someone that's not necessarily concerned about hurting your feelings, if what they say might not be what was resonating with you, or uh, what was um, kind of your conclusion about certain things about yourself. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's not easy to tell someone that like, hey, you suck at this. And you're like, well, I thought I was great at that. <laughs> you know? um, so I think that's the biggest thing, is that you can't do it by yourself. Uh, it takes different types of assessment tools and just different people, uh, family members, close friends, mentors, co-workers, people that interact with you on a pretty regular basis uh, to be able to give you that feedback. Uh, even if it's just telling them the things that you feel like kind of paint the picture of you and then just seeing what they think about that mm -hmm. and any like hesitation, any, well, I mean, yeah, I guess I can see that. It's like, oh, well, that's not readily apparent. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing, it's just not doing it on your own.